Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see important anatomy and medical terminology questions which are very helpful for your CPC exam. Before starting with the first question, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your fellow coders and also subscribe to my channel Codemade Mastery. Let's start with the first question. What is cytopathology? Option A. Study of blood. Option B. Study of organs. Option C. Study of cells. Option D. Study of tissue. The right answer for this question is Option C. Study of cells. Option A. Study of blood is wrong because the term for study of blood is hematology. The term for study of organs is anatomy and the term for study of tissue is histology. So, what is cytopathology? Study of cells. Next question. The root word hystero means option A intestine, option B ovary, option C fallopian tube, option D uterus. And the right answer is option D uterus. Okay, the root word for intestine that is large intestine is colo and small intestine is ileo. The root word for ovary is Oforo and the root word for fallopian tube is salpingo. The root word for uterus is hystero. Okay, next question. Pancreas is a part of which two body systems? Option A, reproductive and lymphatic. Option B, urinary and endocrine. Option C, endocrine and gastrointestinal. Option D, gastrointestinal and respiratory. And the right answer is option C endocrine and gastrointestinal why because the pancreas functions as an endocrine gland by producing hormones such as insulin and glucagon which regulate blood sugar levels and pancreas is also part of gastrointestinal system because it acts as an exocrine gland producing digestive enzymes that help break down food in the small intestine next question name the part of the brain that controls Blood pressure, heart rate and respiration. The right answer is Option B. Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata controls blood pressure, heart rate and respiration. Option A. Cortex. It is a crucial part of the brain. It is responsible for sensory processing, motor control, cognitive functions, language and memory. Please take notes. And option C, cerebellum is responsible for coordination of movement, balance and posture, motor learning. And option D, cerebrum is the largest part of the brain which is responsible for sensory perception, voluntary movement, cognition and intelligence, emotions and consciousness. Next question. What is the term for urea in blood? Option A, hematuria. Option B, proteinuria. Option C, Glycosuria, option D, uremia. And the right answer is option D, uremia. Option A, hematuria is the medical term for presence of blood in urine. Option B, proteinuria is the medical term for presence of protein in urine. And option C, glycosuria is a condition where there is excess glucose, that is sugar, in the urine. Next question, what is dysuria? Option A. Excess output of urine. Option B. Decreased output of urine. Option C. Absence of urine. And Option D. Difficulty in urination. And the right answer is Option D. Difficulty in urination. The prefix dis means bad, difficult, abnormal or impaired. Therefore, dysuria means difficulty in urination. In option A, they have given excess output of urine. The medical term for excess output of urine is polyuria. And in option B, decreased output of urine. The medical term for decreased output of urine is oliguria. And in option C, they have given absence of urine. So, the medical term for absence of urine is anuria. The right answer for this question what is dysuria is difficulty in urination. Next question. The foramen magnum is present in option A, temporal bone, option B, occipital bone, option C, sphenoid bone, option D, ethmoid bone. And the right answer is option B, occipital bone. 
The foramen magnum is located in the occipital bone which forms the back and base of the skull. So what is foramen magnum? It is a large opening at the base of the skull through which the spinal cord passes and connects with the brain. Next question. Which of the following is an appropriate term for low number of platelets in the blood? Option A. Thrombocytopenia. Option B. Thrombolysis. Option C. Thrombocytopenia. Option D. Thrombocytosis. So here option A and C both are thrombocytopenia. The right answer for this question is option C. Thrombocytopenia. Option A and C both are correct. Thrombocytopenia refers to low number of platelets in the blood. The term thrombocytes refer to platelets and penia means deficiency. Therefore, low number of platelets refers to thrombocytopenia. Option B. Thrombolysis is a medical treatment used to dissolve dangerous blood clots in blood vessels. And option D. Thrombocytosis is a condition where the body produces too many platelets. The right answer for this question is option A and C. Next question. Tympanic membrane is often referred to as option A, inner ear, option B, eardrum, option C, taste buds, option D, stirrup. And the right answer is option B, eardrum. The tympanic membrane is often referred to as eardrum. It is a thin membrane that separates outer ear from the middle ear and vibrates in response to sound waves enabling us to hear. Next question. Sebaceous glands are a part of which system? Option A. Circulatory system. Option B. Genitourinary system. Option C. Endocrine system. Option D. Integumentary system. The right answer is option D. Integumentary system. Sebaceous glands are located in the skin and are responsible for secreting sebum. It is an oily substance that helps to keep the skin and hair moisturized and protected. Next question. How many lobes make up the right lung? The right answer is option C, 3. The right lung has 3 lobes and the left lung has 2 lobes, mainly due to space constraints created by the heart's position in the chest. The heart tilts slightly to the left side of the body, occupying a space known as cardiac notch in the left lung. This unique anatomical feature reduces the available space for lung tissue, resulting in only 2 lobes instead of 3. Therefore, the left lung has 2 lobes and the right lung has 3 lobes. Next question. The meaning of root word blepharo means option A sclera, option B lens, option C choroid, option D eyelid and the right answer is option D eyelid. Next question. The term used for inflammation of the bone and bone marrow is option A chondromatosis, option B osteochondritis, option C osteomyelitis and option D chondritis. The right answer is Option C. Osteomyelitis. Next question. The term used for pus in the urine is Option A. Hematuria. Option B. Polyuria. Option C. Oliguria. Option D. Pyuria. And the right answer is Option D. Pyuria. Next question. Name the shaft of the long bone. Option A. Diaphysis. Option B. Metaphysis. Option C. Periosteum. Option D. Epiphysis. And the right answer is option A, diaphysis. Option B, metaphysis is a region of a long bone between diaphysis and the epiphysis. And what is periosteum? Periosteum is a dense layer of vascular connective tissue that covers the outer surface of all bones. And what is epiphysis? Epiphysis is the rounded end of a long bone. You can find this diagram in your ICD-10CM manual under anatomical illustrations. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for more important content related to CPC exam and medical coding.